I've already started some work on the inner wing, um, but I realized that without fitting up my new panel in here, I just uh, don't have enough uh, reference points to, to build up the metal on the, the other side. So I've decided to start uh, on this wheel arch uh, repair now. And uh, you can see the, the work I've done on the inner wing in my next video. So for now, I'm going to start by splitting the outer arch from the inner arch, which I'm going to fit the repair section to. After cutting the inner and outer arches apart, I was then able to peel back the remainder of the outer arch that was still attached and then isolate the old spot wells and grind them down and then peeled off the remaining metal. I removed this massive mud flap so I could get in and wire wheel all the rusty surfaces under the arch. I then took this old bonnet from my donor camper and started cutting off the inner frames which I may need to take some repair sections from uh, but the main motivation was to get some nice flat metal to make my repairs. Removing this panel adhesive is one of the most satisfying jobs in vehicle restoration, I think. Back on the van, I started cutting out the sections I was going to replace with the salvaged metal. I had to weld a, a few little tacks just to hold in one of the panels that I was keeping because there was so little metal to hold it in place. After the cuts, I cleaned up the surfaces that were going to be welded. Using a sheet of paper and a marker, I began the process of making my replacement panel.
I don't have a sheet metal folder, but for a panel that's going to be hidden away under the arch, I could do a good enough job with the bench vise. With the rough shape of the panel I required, I then just had to put a few little nips in it so I could bend and twist it into shape. I used a weld through zinc primer for the areas that are going to overlap where I'll be simulating some spot welds. It would also act as a base coat for further treatment later. I could then begin clamping in the panel before finally attaching it. With that now firmly in position, I needed to trim back the rest of the outer arch to where I was going to join in the properly formed repair panel that I had bought. This would allow me to see the far side of the area where I was going to have to make spot welds in the middle of the panel that I had just made. I drilled some holes to weld through and then I used the jack to press the repair panel hard against that internal structure. I roughly trimmed down the replacement panel so I could slot it into place and make a more accurate drawing of what I needed to cut out before welding it in properly.
There was some bit of warping from the continuous weld, but it was concave, so I'll be able to put a light skim of filler over this to make a, a very tidy repair in the end. After all the stripping down on the camper, I'm really pleased to have done something constructive, and I can already feel there's new structure coming back into it. <laughs> 